Hi fun friends, this is Janet with Photography Makes. It's been a little bit, so I've been kind of busy prepping for Thanksgiving and um, doing all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to jump on and show some things that I have um, accumulated over the weeks. It's a little haul. And I have a, a small project share too. So I'm going to start with the haul because I have everything here right in front of me. Um, I had ordered some stuff from Spellbinders, so uh, I decided to get these confetti sparkle elements in clear sparkle and candy apple. I thought these would be fun for little shaker cards. Um, I also got this fresh um, sage thread. It's this really pretty sage color. I don't have anything like that uh, color-wise in my collection. All right, and then I grabbed this contour steel rule die. It's called Oopsie Daisy. I think these are going to make some really pretty flowers. So I'm looking forward to using that. And I've really been into like packaging lately because I really want to up my packaging game. <laughs> so I got this pillow box steel rule die. So it should be, um, this is actual size. So it's not very big, but I think it'll be perfect for shipping like little things off to friends. I also picked up this star, um, star. It looks like a star. It's a snowflake called Radiant Snowflake. I got the reindeer, this little face here. Um, I got another reindeer. It's called Santa's Reindeer. I guess this is part of the Santa Helper collection, which I'd really like to find the rest of it, but it was from 2019. So I might have a little bit of, uh, it might be hard to find. I'm not sure. I also picked up these. Um, it's called A La Mode from Fun Stamper's Journey. And I really liked it for this bundle of cinnamon sticks. I grabbed this chubby stocking. And yes, the dye is actually lime green. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. Um, I also got a glimmer foil plate. Um, it's called Glimmer Botanical. So I'm excited to use this. I haven't used my foil machine in a little bit. Um, and that was everything from Sizzix. I then got, or not Sizzix, from Spellbinders. I'm sorry. I was looking at the Sizzix. I then got the Sizzix Thinlets off of um, Marketplace. So it's the, um, there's a name for this. It's a um, Christmas character box. So it makes like, um, uh, makes like a little match box. So I think these will be fun to make for a little Christmas presents, stocking stuffers. Um, and then she sent these pretty jemmies along with the package, which I thought was really nice. Um, let's see, also from Marketplace, um, I got these, all different sellers actually, uh, three wood mount sets. So this one, this guy is called, um, what is he called? I don't think he has a name. Uh, K1240 from, it looks like Annette. Um, I'm not sure. Creations, Annette. Yeah, I don't know. But I really, really liked her. I thought this little snowman was super cute. So I'm excited to color her up. I also got this Judith stamp from 1995. He doesn't have a name either. Um, but he's like a little, he looks like a little shelf sitter. <laughs> or I could, I think I might put him on a snow mound or something. I'm really excited to color this guy up. He's super cute. He's nice and big. He's a nice size. And then I found the hangers, the Christmas hangers set from um, Stampin' Up. Which I thought they were going to be way bigger for some reason. But they're teeny tiny. So these might be good for little tags or little additions to something. But I was excited to get it. Because I was looking for it. Um, okay, my last things are from Dollar Tree. I found the trims. So if you're looking for the trims, they're out. And I found this really pretty ribbon in like a rose pattern. I hope it's not hard to see. I got a little bit of a glare there, I see. It has like roses and some um, wording. And then I bought some just some brushes because I um, accidentally forgot to clean off my Mod Podge. And my favorite brush is now hard as a rock. So I actually should throw this out. I don't even know why I'm keeping it. So I bought two extra brushes from Dollar Tree that were similar. <laughs> okay, now for my project share. 
Um, let's see. I used the Silent Night paper pack. Okay, here's the rest of the things. And these are what I made. They are um, like a, well, they could be like a paper ornament or a tag. I did leave it blank. I cut it out on cardboard and then I lined it with um, this paper from the pack, which is this really pretty, like, I don't know, um, blue gray color with the poinsettias on it. And I, that's where I was inspired to do the pink poinsettias. But this is everything I used because I layered them up real nicely. I used the Christmas Happiness from Stampin' Up. I used this pine cone set. I did put a little bit of chalk in the middle of their, um, in the middle of their petals to, you know, maybe bring out some of the lines. Uh, these are the three Spellbinders um, sets I used from Susan's Garden. So this is the Ferns and Ivy. I used the Foliage and Ladybug. I used this one here. And then I used the poinsettia. So, yep. And then for the base of my tag, I used this 3D sled Sizzix die. Which is actually, um, it's supposed to be dimensional, so you can, like, fold it. You can see that there. You can fold it, I guess, into your card. But I just thought um, it would be nice for a flat tag, too. So, yeah. That is my little project share. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Um... We had a small gathering this year, which is nice. I like the small gatherings. And uh, food was good. Company was good. And I hope all of you had a great Thanksgiving as well. I hope to talk to you soon. I, I want to craft today. So that's what I'm going to do next is start making some stuff. So, all right. I hope you have a great uh, Friday. Take care. Bye-bye.